um, but this video um, like subject is very sensitive to me and it's very private as well so yeah we're going to be talking about my family so I started YouTube just over a year ago and it wasn't until yeah a couple of uh, months into my YouTube career that a lot of you guys were asking me like where are my family members and stuff like you've heard me talk about them but you never see them in my videos when I was um, really young um, basically my mum and dad got a divorce and not to go into too much detail um, my dad now lives his own life I don't ever get to see him and that's just how it is so in my family there's my little sister my two brothers then there's me and then my sister Georgie so yeah um, and because we live totally different lives and also because of like m that other side of this family is like very re obviously religious and stuff and that I'm not like really in that religion anymore um, basically we don't get to speak and in because we don't want to or I don't want to they don't want to it's just how things have gone I love them to pieces and obviously I miss them and my mum I wouldn't be the person I am today without my mum um, so it's really hard that I can't do that it's been like 10 years now since I haven't really seen my family and that like when I left the religion and stuff and my little sister she was only 14 and now she's a full grown woman and I feel so bad that I haven't been able to be there for her and like help her when she first started like her period or for, had her first crush or when she first like started getting into like fashion and stuff I wasn't there to be able to go shopping with her, treat her so yeah um, it's been really hard and when I left the religion like my sister Georgie she was there for me a lot and so was my cousin Emily and also my best friend Hannah and there was a few other friends and stuff that were there for me but their main people were really there for me um, and without them I don't think I would have got where I am and then obviously I met Mickey and he has had to deal with so much like he's had to deal with things that maybe like my, some of my family members should be dealing with and he's had to deal with that he's just honestly I don't know how he stayed with me I don't know how he's put up with it because it's so sad because I feel like I'm gonna cry over my pugs but honestly I don't obviously get to see my family and stuff like that um when I wake up and see my pugs and stuff it's so sad I just oh no they just make me feel like I've got all my family around me because I've always since I was young I always had family members around so I hope you can't understand what I mean because it's not so sad me just kind of crying over my pugs hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're having a wonderful day so before we get into today's video i just wanted to say thank you so so much for all the love and support from my first video like honestly guys i'm just so overwhelmed by all the lovely like comments and just all your support i also wanted to say like well done to all the people that left all of their kind of like experiences in the comment section and like shared their kind of like story i think it's so so brave of you because because it actually took me a lot to post that video um, obviously a lot of my um, friends know about like why I don't speak to my family and to put that actually on the internet for everyone to see is like a big thing and as you can see in that video is quite emotional um, for me and I'm sure it's the same for you guys that left all your experiences down below so I just want to say how brave you are and thank you for sharing them with us all so yeah anyway um, before we get into today's video as well, I just wanted to say, if you haven't watched the first video, I would probably go and watch that so you can kind of understand a little bit more about this video. This is part two. I wasn't going to really do part two, but I feel like there's a few things that I need to clarify because there was actually a good few questions that a lot of you were asking. And I feel like if I kind of answer them in today's video, then the first video would probably make a little bit more sense. So the first kind of question was, why don't you speak to Family Fizz? So I think this question came up because maybe a lot of you were skipping through bits of my first video. So I would recommend watching the whole of the last video and watch the whole of this video so you can make sense of what I'm talking about. So I do actually get to speak to Family Fizz. I did say that in that video, but I think some people skipped that bit. Um, there's some bits of my family that I don't speak to and they're the family members that are in this religion still. 
so the other family members aren't in this religion or part of it um, I get to speak to them so I do get to speak to my sister Georgie a lot of you guys know she's from the YouTube channel Family Fears and me, Sienna and Karma are my nieces I get to speak to my sister like all the time obviously I live in the UK and she lives in Dubai so we don't physically get to see each other as much as we'd like um, but we text all the time we obviously watch each other's videos and whenever she's in the UK we always meet up and I get to see all of them so that's really nice so yeah I do get to speak to them i just wanted to get that out of the way at the start of this video i do speak to my sister and she does speak to me it's just that we live in different countries so we don't get to see each other as much as we'd like so the next kind of thing that i wanted to clarify and i feel like this is going to probably take up a lot of this video is i mentioned that obviously um all my family in this religion don't speak to me and I don't speak to them and I didn't want to go into too much depth in this a lot of people did kind of understand but a lot of you didn't understand like I just wanted to like leave it like that um, but yeah you were asking like you know if you miss them and they miss you why don't you just go over and visit them and speak to them so the reason is I'm not allowed to and vice versa they're not allowed to speak to me so like I said my family is still on this religion and I really want to respect them for that so I don't want to talk about too much of like the religion and stuff basically all I'm trying to say is just please respect like my family and also their privacy um, that's why I don't mention like what religion I don't think you need to know the religion because this video isn't about that religion okay it's just about the reason why we don't speak to each other so as part of this religion you obviously follow God's word which is basically all in the Bible so there's certain like guidelines or should we call it rules that you have to follow so when I left the religion obviously it's because I wasn't really happy in it but also it's because I met someone who wasn't part of this religion and that's some of the kind of like rules as we'll call it that I wasn't allowed to do you and you should really date people inside that religion so in life obviously there are certain rules so like when you're at school there's certain rules you have to follow and if you break one of the rules obviously there's going to be like consequences so that's what I done I kind of like broke a rule in this religion and because I wasn't really sorry for what I had done and um, there was obviously consequences I could have obviously um, as they would say repented um, I could have then went back and then been able to see my family and stuff but then I felt like I was living a lie because I wasn't really like happy in that religion so I chose it was my actual choice to leave and obviously I knew there was going to be consequences so basically the consequence was I'm not allowed to speak to my family and vice versa they're not allowed to talk to me so I hope that answers your question when you say like you know oh yeah yeah you left the religion and you're not in it anymore but why don't you still just go and speak to them it's because I'm not allowed to and they're not allowed me isn't because we don't want to and um, like you know they don't want to see me I don't want to see them I don't want to talk to them or they don't want to talk to me it's because we're not allowed to we do want to we're just not allowed to so I don't want to go into like too much detail and I don't want people to like disrespect like that religion and stuff because like I said my family's still in that religion and it's like that's their life and I have my life I'm happy living my life and as much as it's like horrible to like live the rest of my life um not being able to speak to my family um and the same for them they have to like carry on their life and not speak to me um that's just how things have gone and like i said in the previous video there's people out there that live like worse lives and that go through other hardships and more difficult kind of situations than me even though I've gone through something which not everybody um, experiences in their life and it's not something very nice and obviously it's still going on today I still can't speak to my family I just thought you know at the end of the day my family are safe and happy and they're still going to live their life so I just can't sit back and just like feel sorry for myself and not live my life and also that was one of the reasons why I left the religion as well is because I wasn't really happy in it and I wanted to just go and like live the, my life like how I wanted to um so yeah I'm doing what I want I'm loving life like I said I had the choice to go back if I wanted to but I felt like if I went back I would be like living a lie um I felt like if I'd done that as well I would eventually just left because 
obviously that wasn't for me that wasn't like my journey in life if that makes sense and I just hope that everyone that's going through like different hardships no matter what it is try not to let it stop you living your life um because there's so much out there you only get one life so you should just try and live it to the full also in that video i did mention that i was going to do a video about like my depression and anxiety a lot of that came from obviously not being able to speak to my family obviously i still can't speak to my family now so i still get depressed and i do suffer from anxiety now and then but not as much as i did back like when like the whole thing was going on like with not speaking to my family and stuff and I'm definitely going to be doing a video about that soon for you guys so guys that's the end of my video for today I hope I did manage to kind of clarify a few things and explain things so that you guys can make sense of like both sides of like why we don't speak to each other um but yeah i hope you did kind of enjoy this video in some way it's kind of like not a most like uplifting kind of video um but yeah i hope it like kind of clarified a few things for you um i'm actually really enjoying doing these videos for you guys because honestly it just by all the comments and how it seems to be really helping other people out there this is one of the things i've really wanted to do through like my youtube channel so i'm so happy about that and yeah i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye